This is Norbert Herber from Indiana University and GQ Audio. In his book, Composing Music for Games, Chance Thomas talks about musical building blocks. These are the musical equivalent of tinker toys or Legos. You snap them together in a variety of ways, and each new construction produces a different result. This is especially important in game audio, where each musical construction is intended to match the way players choose to engage the game. What you see on the screen right now is a complete WISE project. I can open up the Soundcaster session and use it to audition all of the musical building blocks that allow this composition to play correctly and to synchronize with different events that will happen when a player is in the game. We'll start off here with the intro. Short segment to set up the game world. We move then into the first section where a player might do some exploring. This section has three different intensities or game states. We're currently in explore. We'll raise the intensity and go into what might be a confrontation. Confrontation escalates and we go into a fight. This is currently the highest intensity. We can step down from here back into the other two intensities that we had. Go down to confront. And then we can step down again, back to explore. Now this leads to a climactic boss battle. And when this section of the game concludes, there's a section the Chance calls the tag that we'll use to send this out. And that's the entire composition. So now that you've heard the whole thing, let's start to build this from scratch. And in the process of putting this together in WISE, you'll start to have an understanding of how this all works. I'm going to close this session. Sure, I will save my project. And then I'm going to click on New, and we'll start something entirely new. Since this, this uh, lesson series is called Musical Building Blocks, I'm going to call this MBB, and then append it with a version number, 00, zero since I'm starting from the very beginning. I am fine with the locations that it's selected by default, I don't need any of these assets. While all these plugins are fantastic, it's really not relevant to what we're doing in this lesson. So I'll deselect all of those just to keep the file size down. Click OK. And um, we get a little um, bit of information about WISE and its licensing. Um, by default, WISE runs in evaluation mode, but you can visit Audio Kinetic online and through their website, you can arrange for the right kind of license that suits your particular needs. We don't need to worry about that right now. Evaluation mode is fine. So we'll close this and we'll get started. So in this first lesson, I want to show you how to create an intro building block. Intros are significant because this is the musical introduction to the game world. And I'll show you how to do that here in WISE. First thing we need to do is import some audio. So I go to the Audio tab, go to the Interactive Music Hierarchy, and right-click 
on the default work unit. Here I can choose import audio files and then click the button for add files. So let me browse to files that I have and I'm going to start with the intro block. Click open. You see that by default it's going to import this as a music segment since we've elected to import it into the interactive music hierarchy. Click on import and this is now in our project. I can click the plus over there, expand, and there we can see we have a music segment for intro block. In order to audition this, it's helpful to switch to the interactive music layout. We can see the waveform right there, and it also allows us to hear what this sounds like. So that's the intro. You remember hearing that from just a few minutes ago when I demoed the entire composition to you. As it is in WISE, this uh, music object will play fine on its own, but you really get a lot more flexibility when you put this inside a playlist container. It just allows you to make changes and updates in a way that's far easier than if it was if you were controlling that music segment directly. So in order to put this inside a playlist container, I'll select the music segment over here, right click, and then choose New Parent because this is going to be something that's wrapped around or is on the outside of the intro block itself. I'll choose Music Playlist Container. You'll see that it wraps it entirely, completely buttoned up. You can select this and give it a new name. I'm going to change this name to Intro Music Playlist. And you can look over here, click the plus to expand it, and you can see the name with a space that I don't really want just to be consistent there. In fact, let's just go ahead and give all these things underscores for good file naming conventions. Intro underscore music underscore playlist. And that will contain our intro block. Playlist shows up down here in the playlist editor, but we're not quite finished. It exists as a container, but we haven't said the, what needs to go into that container. So I can grab the music segment, drag it, drop it under there. So now the intro block music segment that we imported is one of the elements that's in this playlist. And you see of all the parameters that are there, there's something for loop count. We can stick with the default of one because this intro is intended just to play one time in order to set up the game world. So that's how you make an intro. It's what happens at the beginning of this composition. At the end of the composition, there's an event known as a tag. And even though that's the last thing that will happen, the processes of, our, of creating it are identical to what we just did. So we'll go ahead and jump ahead. A tag is a short musical phrase that serves as a conclusion for any of the musical building blocks that may have come before it. Now, at this point in the lesson, we don't have those. But again, because the steps are identical, we'll go ahead and create these together and look at it as a quick review. So we'll start in the same way. We'll go back to our default work unit, right click, choose import audio files, click on the add files button, and this time we want to choose the tag block. Click on import, WISE brings it in, and you can see here we have the tag block music segment. It loads over there, and we can audition this down here in the transport. That's the tag. Again, it could exist on its own as a music segment, but in the interest of flexibility and ease of updates and editing, we'll put this inside a playlist container just like we did for the intro. The steps are identical. 
You right click on music segment, choose new parent, select playlist container, and then we'll also go through the process of renaming this. Stick with our uh, same conventions. I'm going to call this one end music playlist. The reason why I've elected to call it end rather than tag is that as this project gets more involved and there's more time between when I'm currently working and when I initially created an event, I may not necessarily remember what any of the names of the music segments are. But if I give them a name at the playlist level that's consistent with what's going to happen with that music in the game, it will be easier to remember what I need to link to when I'm setting up the behaviors that will cause everything to transition correctly and form an entire composition within the game itself. So end music playlist is best name I can use for that given the way this composition is supposed to work. Well at this point your intro and tag are now ready to be integrated with the rest of the game music. In the final lesson that covers game syncs and switch containers, you will learn how to create transitions in WISE that can cue your music and allow all of these building blocks to blend with the other elements of your composition. Look in the description below for links to additional resources and for the tutorial files that you see used here. Thanks for watching.